In this hustle, I have placed an ad in a newspaper selling a laptop. Now, I've had a reply. I'm just emailing a time and a place to meet. Now, what this lady thinks she's going to be getting is this laptop right here. It's quite expensive. But actually, what she's going to be getting is this a plank of wood, which is obviously worth nothing. This is a fairly straightforward con, but there is an element of jeopardy. The customer's friend is going to meet Jess in a cafe to exchange £200 for a laptop. Jess must demonstrate the real laptop, then switch the real one for the fake. The risk lies in being able to get out before the mark has a chance to check the switched case. This is the laptop switch. And this is the meeting place. Our cameras are rigged and Jess takes up her position. Alex waits outside for backup in case all goes wrong. Something's wrong. The mark is late. Hello? Yes, it's okay. It's the mark. It's okay, she can't find the cafe. So Jess gives her instructions how to get there. No, sorry. At last, the mark arrives. Um, I'm really sorry, I'm in a bit of a rush. I had to be somewhere 15 minutes ago, so can we quickly... Um, do you know anything about computers or anything? Just a little bit. Just a little bit, right. I'll start it up for you so you can have a quick look. Jess lets the mark try the real computer. Well, listen, if you have any problems, you've got, like I said, you've got my number, just give me a ring, yeah. you know. Yeah. Uh, all the software's already on there. Okay. Um, Microsoft, Office, Windows, got everything. The Mark gets a call from another friend and is distracted. Jess seizes the opportunity to pack away the computer and do the switch. The fake is in the carrier bag. Everything's in this bag, OK. Jess gives the Mark an excuse to keep the bag. Actually, can I, I'll keep this bag. I'll just give you the laptop. Yes. That's okay. She's done it. She's swapped. Here it is from another angle. The mark goes for the laptop. This is dangerous, but Jess thinks fast and takes control using the plastic bag of accessories to close down the mark's attempt to open the case. I was going to let you keep the bag, because this is what I've been carrying it around in, but it's, it's not, I've got to go if you have Jess gets the money. Now she needs to get out fast. The mark could check the laptop case at any moment. Jess almost breaks into a run. She's out. Jess and Alex make a quick getaway. Meanwhile, the mark's friend has rung to ask about how the laptop purchase went. This could be interesting. <gasps> the mark's after Jess, but she's too late. Jess and Alex have got clean away. When we caught up with her, she was still fuming mad about what had happened to her. Oh, good. I want to stop shaking that and I'm going to start talking. What the f gonna do? My money's gone. What the hell am I gonna tell my friend? I just gave her two hundred pounds for this piece of crap. I'm gonna keep her ass. I'm gonna keep her ass. I really am going to keep her ass.